here I am from Home Depot. I got my corrugated plastic. Oh, goodness. It's raining out. It's been raining a lot. I got rain all over my glasses. Can't see. <laughs> so I got this four by eight sheet of corrugated plastic to do the the ceiling panels and the door panels. And uh, I had to have this cut off <laughs> when I was there because it wouldn't fit in my van. Uh, so I was like, can you cut this for me? And they were like, well, we don't cut, we don't cut plastic. We can't cut plastic on the saw. It's not allowed. And I was like, do you have like a utility knife? And he was like, oh, okay, I'll cut it for you. <laughs> so, he, so he cut it. And I said, when you cut it, cut me 16 inches because one of the, one of the panels up in the ceiling is 16 inches by 48. And, um, so that will go right. So I figured he'd do my first cut for me. So that's what that is. Now I can get going with that project. And with my Paisley Sky. So now this is really fun. So Bob was here yesterday. He ripped all these pallets apart. He ripped the pallets apart. So we got all these boards. It's, it's time consuming. Now every nail has to come out. You, you know, you have, to, he's had the saws all, he was cutting nails, yanking nails out. And, um, but he was determined that this is the wood we need to use, not a piece of plywood. A piece of plywood won't be fun and interesting. This old pallet yucky wood will be interesting. Well, wasn't he right? Because what we did was, um, I have these, we have these, we put them all in a certain order according to color and size, and I'll show you that in a minute in case you want to build anything with a, with a uh, pallet. Okay, so, um, so they're in order. They're all, they're all numbered. So they're going to go like this. And if you see, see, like some of them got this yucky stuff, some of them got knots, and they got these nail holes. That's part of the charm. That's part of the charm. So this is going to be the wall that's going to be across from the little kitchenette. There'll be like the whole kitchenette thing with my blue cabinets, my cooler that I'll sit on, and then this wall where that wheel well is, I just want that all built in so we're not looking at that kill mat. I don't want to look at kill mat. So we're going to, we're going to box it right in and then use the space. Um, all around the wheel well for storage. So, all right, it's going to be, we need 40 inches wide, and this is about 40 inches wide. I think we might have to take off like an inch on one of these boards to make it 40 inches wide. And it's going to be 25 and a half inches tall. And these ones are like 30. So it's going to be about this tall. So those will all be ripped like that. So that's going to be the wall. And on one, so this will be the, the right in the middle of the wheel well. We'll be right here, right in the middle of the wheel well. This, the reason that these two are side by side is because on the left side of the wheel well, this is going to be a door that opens. So I can get into that space that's to the right of the wheel well. And that's where I'm going to keep all my bags of water, my water storage that I pour in my Berkey. So there's that. And then these two together right here uh, will be the other door. So this door will open like this. Oh, <laughs> I can't lift it. It's heavy. This will be joined into one piece. And that will be the other cabinet door. And it is going to be so amazing. I'm going to um, sand it only to get rid of some of the some of the dirt um, and some of the, any of this rough stuff that's not good. But I want to do very little sanding because I want I don't want to I don't want to smooth anything out. I don't want to get rid of this too much yuck. I like I want the yuck. I want the the unevenness. 
So I am going to just love this. Then today I had to pick out hinges and I picked out black hinges and just little hook and eyes. I just want to keep it really simple and just rustic. And I just thought the black, the black on the hinges with the, a hook and eye on each door. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, then this is the, the little table that the Blue Eddie is going to sit under. I thought about putting this, putting a couple of these tiles on top of here. I'll have to custom cut them. But I thought about doing that. I thought that would be cool. And then I'm going to paint these legs. One of those colors, I haven't decided yet. Uh, probably red. I think I'm going to do that red. It will be right next to the bed that's going to be green. Then, if you remember correctly, this is the cabinet that's going on top of the Blue Eddie just like this. Nope. <laughs> it's going to go right here over the Blue Eddie. So this is where the sliding door is going to be, right? The sliding door to get out. And there'll be about this much space there. So didn't I go to the thrift store today and find this for $2.99? So it was senior day, so I got 30% off, so it was $2. It's black. It's solid wood. It's really nice. And over here, I'm going to attach it right here, and that's going to be where I'm going to hang my jackets. Right? So I usually have a jacket, like a, uh, like a flannel kind of jacket. I don't need a winter jacket because I'm not going to be anywhere that I need a winter jacket. That's not where I travel. Um, and then this shirt right here, I usually always keep this out on a hook when I was uh, traveling before. Um, so I thought this would be perfect because it would be really handy. It would be right where the door is, and there's that space when you shut the door for that. And it's nice and high, so it's not going to be, you know, the jackets won't hit the floor. So that was a score. That was a score. Then... <laughs> All right, you ready for this? Are you ready for this? So you must remember that these are my colors. These are the colors that I picked for my van. So I was at the thrift store today, and I thought, let me look at pillowcases. And I'll find a pretty pillowcase that would be something that would be beautiful that when I make my bed in my van. So. The number one with a pillowcase is it has to feel good. Like, I don't want this pretty pillowcase that feels awful on my head. Like, I, I want 100% cotton. I want, it to, I want it to be a fabric that feels good. That's number one. Then I would like it to be in my color scheme. So I started just, I usually go through and feel, 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 feel. So I, I felt this one, and I was like, oh, I like the way this feels. And uh, it's 100% cotton. And I like the way that it felt, right? So I said, oh, let me look at it. So I pulled it out and look at this. Look at this. Now you're ready for this. <laughs> look at this. Right? Okay. So, and what else is amazing? is that this is obviously for a king size pillow i don't have a king size pillow i have a queen size pillow so i'll alter this on my sewing machine well isn't it also amazing that the flower is off to the side right so now when i alter it like this and make it a queen size pillowcase this is what i've got is that a score is that beautiful it's just so simple it's a simple beautiful and this feels like a mil this feels like a million bucks right here. This was a dollar forty nine. So with thirty percent off, it was ding 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 one dollar. <laughs> so that's what I got, and that's going to be on my bed. And I think I'll have the white like a, just a, a white comforter. I like uh, just a plain white comforter with with this. 
and then I, I'll keep a, um, uh, uh, a sleeping bag stuffed under the bed for when I'm really, really cold. But it will just be a white cotton comforter like this. Just simple. I don't want a bunch of pillows. I don't want a bunch of pillows that are filled with clothes and all, and, and that whole idea. I don't, I don't, I just, I like it just a, a pillow bed, uh, blanket, pillow, the end. But whenever, whenever I got home, because I said, I think those are my colors. Whenever I got home and I was like, they couldn't be more of a match. So that was really exciting. So $1 for that, $2 for this. And uh, I just, I love this right here. If everybody remembers, this is my Berkey stand. And I had this on the floor in my last build. And my Berkey sat on top of it. So what I did was I cut two inches off the top of it. And I'll tell you why. Um, a couple of people on my channel mentioned uh, when, I, when I put the Berkey on in the cubby and have it come out the top of the counter, um, I'm going to have to have it on the very, very edge in order to use the spout. So if you can imagine that the Berkey is going to be inside the cubby, I would take you in the van right now, except it's raining out. It's going to be inside the cubby. So if it's like this, it's going to have to come on the edge in order for me to put a cup under it. So now if it's sticking out like that, it's going to be sticking out in my, in my living space. It will probably keep getting hit. So it needs to be back here, but then I can't get my cup under it. So what we did was I took the Berkey stand that I had in my, in my last build that sat on the floor with the Berkey on it, cut two inches, two inches all the way around. I'm going to paint this one of my colors. I don't know, maybe blue. And th this will go in the cubby and then this will go up here this will go in the cubby like this so it will be it will be it will go in the cubby like this it will be behind the face of it but i'll still be able to get a cup under it like this just by bringing it up two inches and i also have this space for storage and I know that seems silly. It's a just a, it's a it's a two inch space <laughs> that's this big. But if you're in van life, you know every inch is very important. Even if I put a book there, you know, if I kept my scrap paper there, if I put a cutting board there, anything, you know. So that is the solution for that. So I'm really excited about having having that all sorted out, and then. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to sand this up and I'm going to paint it. And um, so there's all sawdust over here because yesterday I had a little lesson on using my router. I bought this router for some project for my house about a year ago, but I wasn't doing the project. Somebody else was doing it. And needed a router, so I just bought one. And I and I said one day I'm going to learn how to use that. Never learned how to use it. Bob taught me how to use it yesterday. So what we did was we practiced. We practiced on this. So basically, I took this. Um, I took this two by four, and I routed the edges. They're all rounded, you know. And then we just I did a jigsaw around here, and I I routed these edges. Over here, I did like kind of a, a different setting. When this is a little bit higher, you get this little ridge right here. So we did that. That so that was a really fun project to to practice routing because when I make the um, the reason I wanted him to teach me this was because when I make the um, the separators for the for the blue cabinets, I want like say a piece like that on either side on the counter with the cabinet over it, two more, and then the cabinet. So I'll have those little spaces in between each cabinet to either put thing, put something on or, or, or whatever. But I didn't want to just stick a two by four in there and have a two by four just like yanking it up two inches. So I want to do something nice. So I might have like the fronts look like that or something. So I'll get creative with that. 
when he starts building that wall, that wall on this side, I'll get busy on the other side. So that's the update for today on all my little projects and my little finds at the store. And it's getting so exciting. Today it's very, it's raining out. Although I'm going to take you out really, really quick because I want to show you uh, that I covered that, um, that corrugated plastic with the painted fabric and I Velcroed it up to the wall. You got to come check it out. So there it is in place. There it is. So the cabinets will just go right in front of that. And I love it. And we got another pallet. We got another pallet because there's something else he has in mind. I don't know what it is. He won't tell me. He said it's a surprise. I don't like surprises with my van. He has no idea that when he's all excited about this surprise and he, and I say, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to burst his bubble. I don't know what this surprise is, but I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So, but we had to go pick up another pallet for this surprise. I guess I'm open to listening, listening to the idea. He's insisting that he wants it to be a surprise. Um, I think he thinks it's a fabulous idea. I hope I agree. Bye for now.